Dear learners, welcome to School of Commerce. As per your request, we are going to make your classes in English. As many of you are learning an English version, but there are scarcity of the English lectures um, of the sectors of commerce in class 9 and 10. And we are ready to make you satisfied with all of your requirements so be with us and subscribe our channel if you are new newcomer to our channel and press the bell icon if you haven't today we're going to take up the class of finance for class 9 and 10 and the chapter is time bill of money this is the first part the second part third fourth or other one the parts will be continuously uploaded in our channel uh, so let's start time value of money what is the meaning of it time value time value of money means with the ongoing time if the value of money is changed that we call time value of money we can explain it say for example you have 1000 taka right now in your hand and in with this money you can purchase um, say for example a chips by 1000 taka or chips and if you can buy it tomorrow with the same product with the same money then you have to understand that there had not been changed of the value of money but if changed if you cannot buy the chips or the same products with the same money then you have to understand that there is something changes what it changes of course the value of money changes not the price of the product the price of the product always remains the same as like uh, we can say that 10 years ago what product you could buy at Taka 10 you cannot buy it now with this money with that product that means products remain same one kg potato is still one kg potato but 10 years ago the value of it um, say for example 8 or 9 taka per kg but now it is 20 22 25 why the distance with the difference the difference is for the time and we can understand that with the time being the value of the money is changing that's why we call it time value of money this is the basic concept Let's have the other concept of this chapter. The other basics of this chapter is uh, present value and future value. This is the most important things because we in business uh, we always think about the present and the future, not the past. We learn something from the past, but we are not concerned about the past. We should be always concerned for present and future so present value is the today's value 100 taka today's 100 taka present value is 100 taka no change but if 100 taka is changed tomorrow uh, by 110 or 120 that is called future value in short we can say that today's value is present value tomorrow's value is future value and uh, uh, we have to calculate the present value and future value in this chapter and uh, what is present value uh, you are you, you can see that uh, when we divide when we divide future value by interest interest what is interest interest is the extra money we get from our investment if you invest like 100 and if you get 110 the more part or 
uh, we can say that the tucker 10 the difference the tucker 10 is the interest for the interest the present value and the future value is segregated the difference actually um, made from this interest uh, we can say it, um, one MCQ uh, always uh, come in the exam that what is the difference between present value and present and future value the answer is interest for interest the differentiation is made so we can say when we divide future value by interest is called present value uh, we can um, make two definition from the structure one is present value like uh, when we divide future value by interest is called present value and if you ask her to um, write a definition of discounting or factoring factoring and discounting both are same um, we can um, make the definition from this definition also uh, we can say that um, the process by which we divide the process uh, replacing when we can see by process by which process we divide future value by interest is called factoring or discounting I'm repeating by which process replacing when by which process we divide future value by interest is called discounting or factoring we, we can we are knowing two definition from one definition two in one right um, let's go the other one future value when we multiply when we multiply uh, in the present value we are we make division and uh, in future value we make multiplication so uh, when we multiply present value with interest uh, if we multiply present value with interest is called future value that means there's a relation uh, with future value by multiplication and in the present value the relation is division with the future value and here we make uh, two definitions like discounting or factoring or present value and uh, we can uh, say it um, future value again here you can also make an, um, an other definition by this definition and the definition name is compounding compounding by compounding the money uh, increases by compounding the money increases so if we multiply uh, you can understand that if we multiply any of money by any of amount it, it must be increased say for example take 100 into 2 how many take 200 right 200 so if we multiply the money is increasing if we divide the money is decreasing so in future value money must be increasing in the free, for present value the money must be decreasing so um, when we multiply present value with interest and um, the definition is replacing when by which process we multiply present value with interest is called compounding is called compounding this is the basic uh, uh, present value or factoring discounting or pre future value or uh, we can say it um, compounding let's uh, next let's see what is next importance of time value of money the very important term of this chapter uh, first of all we have to know what are the importance the importance first importance is opportunity cost project revelation lending equation so uh, we are discussing now the opportunity cost what is opportunity cost opportunity means an advantage you have let's uh, make an example if you have two chances two chances um, one uh, say for example um, you you prefer uh, coffee than tea uh, you, you are if you are offered um, hot coffee and cold coffee which one you take which one you take let's say you are asked to choose any one not two any one so uh, if you are asked to have um, hot coffee or cold coffee so um, um, let's say for example um, the price of this coffee are same um, let's uh, 100 taka uh, is a hot coffee and 100 taka is a cold coffee and if you take cold coffee for 100 taka you are going to miss the other one for 100 taka 
let's have an example again if you are going to take the hot coffee for extra taka for 100 taka you are going to miss cold coffee for 100 taka so by choosing one by choosing any one you are missing one and the value of the missing one is called opportunity cost that means in short we can say that if you have two project if you have two project and you have to select if you if you have to select one project and then then you have to miss one project and which project you have missed these projects value is called opportunity cost hope you got understand my point next one project evaluation what is project evaluation um, how can you evaluate a project in the project for project evaluation uh, you have to know the present value of this project uh, if you have two project um, uh, if you are asked uh, to evaluate which one you you, you should choose uh, then you have to know the present value of those projects if you what you, you can determine the present value of those projects you can easily you can easily um, make a decision uh, what to choose um, why present value why present value because present value is more preferable than future value um, let's say for example um, your uncle offered you to take taka 100 now or taka 200 after six months which one will you take yes if you were if you were a threat if you were intelligent you must choose the today's balance not wait for the after six months okay um, because future is uncertain and future is more risky that is why you are choosing the present one and um, as you choose present one uh, the theme we will put in this this project evaluation uh, if you if we have two projects or more projects the present value of the projects should be determined and then you should choose um, the present um, with the present value which present value is less than the other one the lesser the least project present value of this project is selected this is a uh, project evaluation hope you understand my point and uh, the last one lending equation lending equation means um you, if you are going to lend you know, some money to other one to other parties um you have to um, you have to understand or you have to know that uh, on the part you are giving you are giving the um, money uh, as as lent uh, as debt they, uh, they have ability if they have ability or not um, if they have not ability to repay your loan you will not going to give the lend okay so first of all you have to understand or you have to know you have to determine the parties you are giving loan if or whether they are able to repay your loan or not if they are able to repay your loan then you will you will lend them the money if they are not capable of repaying your loan then you are not going to pay sorry you're not going to give the loan the same the same thing for you also if you have the capacity of repaying loan then take loan if you are not able to repay the loan then not to take loan this is the suggestion and this is the importance of time value of money hope you and all understand the basics of this chapter um, uh, you all are requested to uh, with us and um, watch the second part of this video um, in this uh, description part uh, you will get all the parts of this chapter and um, uh, if you are not understanding any point please please feel free to comment us and uh, you can uh, you may join with our facebook group school of commerce and um, please uh, if you like our video please uh, give a like um, um, share share with your friends so that they can also understand our video lectures and uh, what subjects you are want to um, English lecture English, once English lecture please uh, comment below and um, those who are not excel in English those who are not understand English properly but you are standing in English version um, they will also have the same video in Bangla same video in Bangla uh, so uh, um, there is no nothing to frustrate um, there is nothing to um, uh, hopeless so um, you all should uh, you, you all should uh, like us comment us uh, and share us um, so 
until then allah bless